Hey guys, and welcome back to Explore. In this video, I'll talk about whether Facebook can survive another scandal. Don't forget to subscribe and let's head into it. Last month, the Wall Street Journal began publishing a series of reports called The Facebook Files. Based on leaked internal documents, the series highlights how Facebook has stoked fear, anger, and division in order to increase user engagement and how it then failed to effectively fight the spread of misinformation and the use of its platform to exploit and abuse vulnerable communities around the world. This week, Frances Haugen, a former data engineer at Facebook, revealed herself to be the whistleblower who leaked the documents to the journal. And on Tuesday, she provided explosive testimony before a Senate subcommittee. The company has announced no significant plans to change its operating structure. Facebook stock takes a hit and yet survives after each scandal, alleging abuse by the giant social network. Can it do so again in the face of a company's whistleblower's damaging testimony? This latest uproar involving Facebook comes as Silicon Valley's tenuous relationship with Washington is coming apart at the seams. Lawmakers increasingly threaten to break up Facebook, Apple, Amazon, and Google owner Alphabet. Meanwhile, Wall Street is yawning even though Facebook's stock is still down around 13.5% from a recent high. In fact, the analyst community as a whole seems unfazed. RBC Capital Markets analyst Brad Erickson initiated coverage on Facebook September the 30th with an outperform rating and a price target of 425 and he gave no mention to the latest allegations, which allege ambivalence by the company over damaging side effects from its products. The charges first surfaced a couple of weeks before Ericsson's note. Through multiple product initiatives, we think the company is well positioned to transition from a social-centric platform to a fuller source of online utility, which should steadily benefit shareholders over time, Ericsson wrote in a note to clients. Facebook's stock, how the trouble began, the latest scandal began when the Wall Street Journal published a series of damaging articles called The Facebook Files, starting in mid-September. The stories are based on thousands of documents provided by former employee Frances Haugen, who was a product manager at the company. That led to an explosive hearing and testimony from Haugen earlier this month. She said that the social network consistently puts profits over users' health and safety. In addition, she said, it fosters emotional harm among teenagers. Haugen provided the Senate panel internal documents showing a range of negative impacts from the company's products. Facebook consistently denies the core allegations. Some Facebook stock analysts reacted to the story, but didn't lose faith in the company. Mones Crespi Hart analyst Brian White, in a report on October the 6th, maintained a buy rating and a price target of 500. We expect Facebook stock to remain hostage to the negative news flow created by this whistleblower that could lead to another round of platform notifications, including dialing down engagement algorithms and increasing spending on safety, said White. However, he said, we believe Facebook will fundamentally benefit from improved ad spending and capitalize on accelerated digital transformation with new initiatives. Trouble lurking down the road for big tech? Yet, White does acknowledge that there could be trouble for Facebook stock and other big techs down the road. We found Ms. Haugen highly credible, and we believe she provided Congress with more ammunition in their pursuit of not only reining in Facebook, but big tech at large, he wrote. Moreover, we would not be surprised if she inspires other tech whistleblowers to come forward. Another did come forward. This past week, former employee Sophie Zhang, who worked as a data scientist at Facebook for nearly three years before she was fired last fall, tweeted of her willingness to testify before Congress. That somewhat sanguine attitude towards these allegations might be attributable to the fact that analysts have seen this movie before. Facebook withstood a firestorm of criticism and investigations for not policing its platform during the 2016 presidential election. In 2018, Facebook acknowledged that loads of misinformation, much of it emanating from Russia, bombarded its users during that time. A troll farm tied to the Kremlin, called the Internet Research Agency, littered the site with news that was either inaccurate or entirely fabricated. The group posted 80,000 times from 2015 to 2017, reaching around 126 million people in the US. Pressure on Facebook remains. For now, the pressure on Facebook stock remains. Six antitrust lawsuits filed in June cover a wide range of territory and are written in ways that specifically target Facebook and other big tech names. 
In addition, the Federal Trade Commission is pursuing an antitrust lawsuit that seeks to break up Facebook. This week, a coalition of nonprofits debuted HowToStopFacebook.org, a fresh push to encourage greater government regulation of the social networking giant aimed at forcing the company to change its business model. Also this past week, a bipartisan group of senators announced plans to introduce a bill that they say would prevent big tech platforms from using their power to disadvantage smaller rivals. Senator Amy Kabluchar D. Min, chair of the Senate Judiciary Committee's antitrust subpanel, and Senator Charles E. Grassley R. Iowa, the top Republican on the full Judiciary Committee, announced that they will introduce legislation early next week, making it illegal to sell preference for Amazon, Apple, Facebook, and Google. That's the practice of giving their own products and services a boost over those of rivals on their platforms. Moreover, the debate started last year about whether to update or eliminate Section 230. One of the key laws that fueled the rapid rise of the internet has continued. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. With that, I'll see you in the next video.